What's up, bitches? Silent Rob. Playing a little Mega Man X here. It's kind of the problem I always had with the Mega Man X games is that this game just completely fucked up all the rest of the games. Like, you just... You can't compare to this game. I mean, I remember Mega Man X2 coming out and just really disappointing me, like with the music, the level design, everything. And I was talking to Razor Fist about this the other day, and like he likes Mega Man X3, but I, th I always thought Mega Man X3 was a disappointment too. Like really, the only one I ever truly loved was this one. Man, this game, I could pretty much beat this game with my eyes closed, though. Be fucking. I've beat this game in my sleep before. I've woken up and this game's fucking beat. It's got the fucking ending credits running and shit. I'm like, I beat this game? I was, I was fucking asleep. I'll be fucking a bitch playing Mega Man X at the same time and shit. Beating that shit, man. That gets the bitches off. Like, when, you, when you're rocking Mega Man X and also rocking their butthole, they love that shit. But, yeah, this game just did it right, man. Like, you know, the Mega Man series was stale. And they brought it back to life with this. <laughs> and then they made it stale again. So, what are you gonna do? That's Capcom for you. You know, if they could have released DLC for this game back in the day, they would have fucking done it. See, I didn't actually own this game as a kid. My brother owned it. My brother would always, like, piss me off by buying games that I, I loved and shit. Because that's what little brothers do, you know, they fucking just piss you off for no reason. I remember when we got the N64, his fucking ass gets Super Mario 64, and I end up getting fucking uh, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, and it was just like, not really a comparison here, you know, like, the brilliance of fucking... Super Mario 64 pretty much trumps anything that Mortal Kombat Trilogy is bringing to the table. Especially considering I already had all the Mortal Kombat games anyways. But you gotta realize, like, at the time, when the N64 came out, all there was to really play was Mario 64, so... And me and my brothers were really stingy with our games, like... You know, we, we had to share a room, me and my two brothers, for the longest time, and... Like, we just fought like cats and dogs, man, and... I didn't let my brothers touch my games, and they kind of kept their games to themselves, but... Mario 64 was one that we all fucking played. There was a few games like that. Yeah, I've been hearing about GameStop closing down for I don't know fucking how long, man. But they always somehow bounce back. You know, those fucking motherfuckers. You can't fucking kill them. When the world ends, there's gonna be nothing left but cockroaches and GameStop. And the fucking, they'll be getting the fucking cockroaches to try to pre-order shit, but they won't because they're cockroaches, you know? They can't do that because, you know, they're a fucking insect. But they're still pushing those Game of Former magazines on them. Oh, I know you guys are uh, cockroaches and all and, you know, don't have money or anything, but you guys want to get an Edge card or a Game of Former magazine? Kiss my fucking ass, man. Man, I'm not a uh, Gears of War fan. I just don't... I don't see the appeal. Like, the storyline is just stupid macho bullshit. You know, like, the campaigns are alright. I, I will say that the campaigns in Gears of War... I would rather play Gears of War... A Gears of War campaign than I would a Halo campaign. But, that's not saying much, man. I'd rather fucking get a root canal than fucking play a Halo campaign. Oh, gonna go run to the end of this hall and run back and then run back to the end of that hall and oh my god, man. Don't even get me started on the fucking library in Halo 1. That was the first taste of, uh, yeah, this game's level design kind of sucks. You know, like, Halo 1 was a good game for what it was at the time. But I just don't think they've ever improved upon the first game. They just add stuff to it, but... I don't give a fuck about Master Chief. I don't care about him, because he has no character development. Unless you want to read some books and stuff that's not in the fucking games, you know. But that's not what I want to do. I'm playing a game 
because I'm playing a fucking game. Yeah, giant tits are disgusting, man. It's like... more. You know what they say about more than a handful is a waste? That's true, you know? I just need to get my hands around them or get my mouth around them, alright? I don't want to suffocate in your titties. That's not cool. You know, I shouldn't... You know, when I'm fucking motorboating them shits, you know, I shouldn't be worrying about fucking dying. <laughs> That's not cool. One thing I never really cared for about these Mega Man X games, though, is the fact that you, you don't have the, the castle map anymore, so you don't know, like, how long you, you got to go in the castle left, you know? Like, I always appreciated that in Mega Man 2 when they added that, but it's not a big deal. I don't really get into the Katamari Damacy games, man. Those games are just fucking weird. Oh, let's roll a ball around. Kiss my ass. Who the fuck do you think you are? Damn it. Oh, what am I doing? Oh! Horse shit! God damn it. Hate this fucking part, man. Man, my fingers hurt already. One bullet. Bullet to the face. Alright. Game Face Supreme Deluxe Ultimate Edition with all the DLC included. Here we go. God, I fucking hate this. You gotta watch your health too, man, because he can kill you in like two seconds. Oh, whatever. Fucking dick liquor. Oh no! God damn it! Gotta be fucking kidding me with this fucking asshole. <laughs> how hard this motherfucker is, man. God damn it. Oh no. Kiss my fucking dick! See this dick? Put it in your mouth. Okay? Fucking use it like a toothbrush. Fucking piece of shit. God, that's hard, man. You gotta stand right on the edge. Right on the fucking edge. Hell yes. Oh, man. It took too fucking long, but I did it. I love this ending, man. Something about, like, NES games, Super Nintendo games... They love to, like, have people stand on cliffs while shit explodes in the background. They love that shit. Mega Man 4 is better than Mega Man X? You are wrong. How fucking dare you say something like that? Mega Man 4 is a pile of shit compared to this game. Ugh. I think I'm gonna puke after reading that.